Simona Kocchi, welcome back. Uh, this is a crucial moment because in few minutes time we're gonna watch together Etro. Etro is the protagonist of a brand new debut for this edition. I'm talking about uh, the entry as a creative director of Marco De Vincenzo since uh, mm, the uh, company L. Carterton has taken the 60% of uh, the Italian fashion house. Let's uh, uh, dive directly into the platform. Uh, we've been reviewing for quite a few minutes before this. And um, so I've reviewing uh, googling uh, the news on this debut uh, and uh, Marco De Vincenzo uh, with this uh, brand new collection launched also um, manifesto entitled Etropia uh, it's a, a statement of intent and uh, so he claims uh, to uh, change a little bit the uh, direction of Etro um, in, including uh, a new sensitivity to colors uh, and uh, a take um, a straight look uh, and um, attentive uh, uh, interpretation of reality and uh, um, playing with utopia portraits and so it's all about uh, <clears throat> um, um, blending uh, the collection with utopia identities and imagination uh, so as I was highlighting before why we were having this kind of uh, um, images released by the um, the cameras uh, it's a psychedelic uh, journey uh, through which fashion uh, that is ripped off uh, of uh, their traditional features uh, take a, a, a step towards uh, a new uh, new garments and with the special uh, attention to body and colors so of course uh, Marco De Vincenzo said that these uh, the etro DNN is untouchable but he wants to play with the prints and fabrics uh, that are of course the main uh, traditional uh, um, characteristics of Etro. Um, the location it seems that is wide and open is uh, by the east side of uh, Milano and the floor uh, is um, placed with the uh, geometric uh, uh, forms of uh, We've been also reviewing the Instagram of Marco De Vincenzo, in which we noticed that he's into um, different, uh, but mostly dance, uh, um, as influence. Uh, in, uh, I noticed. Uh, more than one pix uh, tributed to the contemporary dance and then uh, there is one of uh, the iconic portrait um, tributed to this uh, brand new manifesto Etropia is a kind also uh, three weeks ago um, they said that they launched the campaign tributed to the desert uh, Uh, as far as I can see, um, I noticed um, quite few differences uh, from the past and the previous etro, and is uh, much more uh, with a young uh, touch. Uh, but anyhow, it is the same sophisticated level of uh, uh, craftsmanship mm. 
Etro um, was born in uh, no, in 1968 by the founder that did, of this huge family that um, is, was uh, Gerolamo Gimmo Etro. And of course, the family influences uh, still are um, evident because, of course, you can uh, cancel such an important DNA and um, brand, but it means uh, only to turn towards something that could be more technological, more that could adhere in um, in a certain way to modernity and uh, how they these times has changed mostly in the latest years oh beautiful this is uh, Milano Fashion Week uh, the fourth day and this is Etro Fashion Shows Spring Summer 2023. I am stunned by the shades of this uh, printed uh, uh, clothes. It's really um, a kind of, uh, yeah, I would say new vision. Um, I wasn't expected this uh, kind of uh, turns, I would say. So also the Etro uh, company claims uh, that uh, the goals is to double the incomes in the upcoming years thanks to the digital and thanks to the foreign foreign sales. It's nice how you see that over there is the, the tangenziale. Tangenziale is the name of uh, the uh, the way behind uh, the venue so we are now now in the city center but we are in the hub uh, that is uh, in, located in a district where major fashion shows are housed and also where TV and production are uh, placed Of it. So again, uh, Marco De Vincenzo, the new creative director of Etro, as before this show has released the manifesto, the new manifesto of Etro, that is a statement of intent in which he wants to blend the brand with a sense of Utopia. Utopia identity and imaginations and to open up uh, towards new frontiers utilizing the technology and the digital 
different digital platforms. But in this case, as you see, it's really traditional, the fabrics, the hues, the embroideries. Oh, I love the camera on the... I was saying, well, what is the skateboard doing there? But it's not a skateboard, it's a camera. Sorry, but I'm without the glasses, and so I can catch everything, but something was weird to me. Good job. You see, that is amazing camera. Okay, I I hope that Marco De Vincenzo will come out uh, to say hello to the audience uh, after the coming out of all the models. We say quadro finale. The venue is huge. Oh no, disruption, no. Come on. Too many people watching this. Oh no, okay. Good. This is an Italian song and that is um, played underneath the final and um, don't ask me to tell who is the singer because uh, he has a um, American accent, but I, I, I think it's not Milva nor Mina. I don't know. I have to. I have something that is popping up in my mind, but I don't know what to say. Anyhow, so with, see with this uh, amazing collection of uh, accessories, uh, bags, and little purses. That's amazing um, because. Etro was uh, uh, one of the most famous uh, uh, Italian brands for prints and uh, also the way to craft the uh, accessories and uh, also uh, to print on silks and many different uh, fabrics. And I see here different examples of the of a new way of uh, managing these uh, skills. Uh, it's really wide. So I know why that had uh, a little time more of delay because uh, managing everything, oh, is just rush out and then 
Okay. By running. Yeah, it's too huge. Okay. So, getting back to my face. Uh, thank you so much um, to, um, to be with me and watching this, uh, my personal review on uh, Milano Fashion Week. Keep on staying tuned because I'll be back to, with you very soon. Ciao.